up guys welcome back to DX gamer show my name is operation DX and we're back here for our sim city let's play on Monday April 8th 2013 well now that we're back at it here on Monday I hope you guys had a good weekend in this episode we're gonna be making some final tweaks to our Crystal Valley City we're gonna try to get that regional bus terminal in and basically just make some general tweaks as we finish out the Crystal Valley City in today's second episode, we'll be spending our final moments in this city as we make our way back to IndyDX to start our Great Works project. So let's get started, shall we? One of the comments in my previous video was talking about how like, I was upgrading the roads and I missed one of the sections, so that's what you saw me do in the beginning of this video. Although I'm not sure I hit the point he was talking about, he said you missed a sliver of the road to upgrade. I attempted to do so. But the first thing I wanted to do in this episode is I wanted to uh, fix my recycling center. I just had it uh, processing alloys, but I realized that it's kind of wasteful to do that. Because as the plastic processes, um, you can divide it into all the other uh, materials. So I went ahead and set up an alloys and a plastic one. I tried to fit in the third and final steel one, but I already had all my trucks in place and I was feeling kind of lazy so I didn't go ahead and knock them over to adjust it. No big deal, we'll make plenty of money off this alloy and plastic as you'll see a little bit later. So of course as usual if you're building more materials you need to have a place to store and then of course we're going to be exporting so we want to sell those to try to make some extra income into the city. As I was getting everything set up here for the exports on the new materials, I noticed that I got my mayor's mansion unlock, and I was keen to go get that set up. Of course, because that is going to increase the wealth of any area I plot that down in significantly, and we'll probably get some pretty interesting structures by placing that down. But because this city isn't ultra efficient I uh, I didn't spend too much time you know trying to find the best spot I did take some time looking around to see if I could find a really good spot to place this mayor's mansion I finally settled for a location that wasn't exactly the most efficient location to place that but this city is more kind of like on the aesthetic side anyways and I thought it'd be kind of cool to have it really close to the university and yes I said I said university this time I kept calling it college I apologize as that seemed to be irritating some of you watching my SimCity Let's Play, I did the proper thing and made sure I called it university. At least was before we left the city. <laughs> During the final two episodes of our Crystal Valley play, I'm going to try to upgrade the Mayor's Mansion as many times as possible before we head back over to IndyDX and start the Great Works project. So after we got the mayor's mansion plopped down, I wanted to go ahead and take a look inside and see what goodies we can plop down, but I forgot that it takes a little bit of time to unlock each thing. You've got to have so many hours of time uh, with a super high approval rate, which will allow you to place upgrades, but I don't know if it actually increases the wealth value of the land. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how far our project here as we upgrade our university for another level. We could actually add another building such as the science building or you know some other ones the law building or whatever to upgrade some of the stuff but we're actually not going to focus on that we may come back later to try to fix that but we uh we're not going to do that right now so another thing uh that uh, was discussed in the comments was uh, saying how i didn't need to have bus stops in front of these parking lots so you can't say i don't listen to you guys and i went ahead and i fixed that real quick and you were absolutely correct you do not need that at all so that was just a waste. So moving on to the primary objective of what I wanted to accomplish in this first Monday episode, and that was to unlock the Department of Transportation to get my regional bus tour in the city and going before we left it, because that is going to be a big thing to promote tourism in our future casino slash tourism city. It's also going to help alleviate some of the traffic that I'm having a problem with in this city and we will probably try to make a couple more adjustments to fix the traffic problem in the city. It's not 
ultra bad now. We've, we've got the roads upgraded and we got a couple of spots um, coming in. But I might actually put one more spot coming from the university into the main city. And they, that might help alleviate some of the traffic. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these back roads here. As it seems that a lot of commuters are actually using them. So, that should be helpful as well. Another thing I'm kind of liking about this city is where everything is going and fitting in. I mean, the fire station and the police station and the, the clinic are all in a great spot. And even though this is extremely wasteful on space, and uh, if you're trying to get a large population city, this would not be good at all. We're able to place these places, we we're able to place these buildings in places that are completely unobstructed. So these can go off and like just come in and come out as they please without too much trouble. Now there is a little bit of a traffic problem on the main uh, highway here, but it's not significant enough to cause a ton of trouble for this bus terminal. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this bus terminal to its full capacity, even though we're kind of still lingering in a negative budget. We should come out on top as we leave the city, I hope. Um, there's still a lot of densing up to do, and I want to see some really cool buildings for that one final pass as we take our final look here at uh, Crystal Valley. Unlike Indie DX, uh, we're probably not going to visit Crystal Valley anymore after we finish the next couple of episodes. It served its purpose. Its pretty much primary goal was to serve as a... A uh, place to research the launch center and then have that up so that we can get it started and working on it. After that, this city is not really going to serve any more purpose other than providing high wealth citizens for its neighboring cities. Essentially, I've set the primary goal for this Let's Play series to be to construct the launch center. Once that's complete, that's pretty much going to be the end of this SimCity Let's Play. However, we are going to mix things up a little bit, so don't worry, the series isn't coming to an end right away, but it will be soon. The casino slash tourism city is going to be essentially kind of a time waster, as it's not really going to serve very much function. I also want to do this because I want to have a nice, well-rounded Let's Play of SimCity to explore and show off most of the core aspects of the game. There's also one hurdle that I'm actually going to have to think about for the Great Works project that I don't exactly know how I'm going to uh, make it happen yet. We may need to build a fourth small kind of like oil town to transport oil over to the Great Works project. You cannot just build a trade port and import items that you haven't unlocked yet. So we've still got that one last hurdle to kind of overcome. Everything else is pretty much set. We've got all the alloys. Um, we can shift our production from TVs over to computer systems because I know that the uh, Launch Center Great Works project does require computer systems and not the TVs. I think the, um, the other one requires TVs but not the Launch Center. So I have an idea of how I might trick the system by placing down an oil structure to try to unlock the oil so that we can just import it into Indie DX and then export it to the launch center. We'll see. But uh, you'll notice when we get that project started, it requires a lot of all of these things and it's a pretty big task. But it's mostly going to be kind of like a lot of downtime. So. You know, I'm not sure how much of that I'm actually going to show. I'll show phases of it, probably do some cuts, um, and then we'll, I guess I'll decide what I'm going to do with the oil thing. We'll see if we can trick it. If we can't trick it, whatever. So let's take a look here. We've already sold a good chunk of allies. It's a free, pretty much essentially 42,000 for us as we continue to recycle all those uh, products and turn them into plastics and alloys. That's just going to make us a nice chunk of change on the side, which is really kind of helping us out right now as we've been sitting in that negative budget, getting that nice little boost of, uh, you know, 42,000 and the plastic sales really help. And here are the exact buildings I was talking about like so long ago. It's these nice high wealth, you know, glass buildings. And we're getting that essentially look at the wealth right there. We're getting that because we placed that mayor's mansion. I'm, I'm thinking that building popped up just because of that. So yeah, th things are going to start to explode here as far as uh, the really nice looking buildings. And we'll probably get to see that for the final episode later on today as we close out our Crystal Valley City. 
Something I've really enjoyed about this particular city in our playthrough is we really haven't had any disasters. We haven't had a single one, actually. Things are running smooth. Another thing that's kind of cool about the way this city has run is the fact that we haven't really had any abandoned buildings. Uh, I don't recall if we've actually demolished any buildings due to them being abandoned other than uh, fire damage. We have uh, knocked some down earlier due to fire damage, but uh, that doesn't seem to be a problem now. And we've unlocked another upgrade for our mayor's mansion, and I keep, you know, doing stuff here. So why don't we go ahead and give the uh, protesters a barbecue uh, pit so they can eat something while they sit there and protest about the germs that I can do nothing about. There's nothing I can do about it. Sorry. I mean, they're just going to have to get over it. Short of having garbage trucks come into this city and collect all my garbage, it couldn't be more pollution free. This city is so clean, there's nothing else I could have done. Something else that's really kind of irritating is, if you notice, all those trees that I keep putting down, they're all gone! Okay, and then speaking of which, okay, so there is a building that had to be demolished. Whatever. But uh, for the most part, this city has been really clean of that. They almost need to add, like, some sort of, like, forester building that allows them to, like, maintain the trees or something. Because I hate that they just keep... I mean, I love the look of all the trees, you know, filled in all the nooks and crannies of the places that, like, are pretty much not going to change or anything. <sighs> Anyways, that pretty much concludes this first Monday episode of our SimCity Let's Play. I'll see you guys later for the next one today. Have a good one, take care, and I'll see you guys. Take care.